Kia ora everyone, my name's James Cockle and I'm running for the leader, co-leadership position of the Green Party this year at the AGM in August. Um, and now for this episode I'm going to talk with you about a common sense economy. So a common sense economy is a needs-based economy, right? not a commodity-based economy. And in my previous episodes I've talked about how the neoliberal um, experiment that we've been under for the last 30 years has meant that everything in our economy is seen as, in a, in, as a commodity to be bought, sold, traded, uh, speculated on and made money off, or something that doesn't exist at all. So many, many of the um, very important services that are provided within our economy are ones that, at, from an economic point of view, don't even exist. All of the natural services, all of the um, volunteer services, all of the unpaid work that isn't really volunteer, but it's kind of like something that somebody has to do. Um, you know, I'm thinking childcare um, in, in some cases and, and things like that. All those things, pff, they don't count in this, in this economy at all. So in a needs-based economy, they do. Um, free market um, capitalism, really, if you think about it, is a form of governance, right? It's not, it's not really uh, just, a, just a, 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 a natural way for the world to be. It's a form of governance because the people who have the capital get to make the choices. So if you own the land or you have the money, you get to choose. So... That, and, and people say this all the time. They say, oh, if you don't like how things are, vote with your dollar. Well, if we're voting with our dollars, then people who have more dollars have more votes, right? So if we were in a, a genuine free market economy that was really a, a, an expression of people's will, then everybody would have the same votes, right? Everybody would have the same number of dollars. So clearly that's not what we have, right? The free market, a capitalist economy, is a system of governance which enables those with um, capital, those with Wealth, resources, and money have more power. That's what capitalism is about. So the the current form of, of free market capitalism we have now. If if capitalism worked as it as it, as it says it's meant to work, if this neoliberal um, experiment that we're in worked the way that people say that it should work, then the richest people in the world be, would be the ones that benefit society the most, right? The, the richest people would be the most valuable, the most virtuous, the most wonderful people that have provided the most good to our society. But of course, we know that that's not true in our society, don't we? The richest people in the world are not the ones that have produced the most good. They're the ones that have produced um, systems that enable them to clip the ticket every time make, someone makes a, a purchase or a transfer. They're, they're the ones that have managed to cut costs by laying people off and automating things. You know, They're the ones that have, have managed the best to exploit the natural resources and the people. And they're the ones that have managed to um, that have coerced the government and to bend them to their will by giving them tax breaks and uh, incentives to move their, um, you know, to move their operations to those countries or territories. That's that's who are making the most out of capitalism. So clearly, capitalism is not working the way that it says on the tin, right? Because if it was, they would be the most um, virtuous, wonderful people. And of course. Crony capitalism, which I believe that we are sliding into at the moment, is where the government props up the capitalist, right? So they have they have the power, but they also have the government support. Free trade is just a subsidy on exploitation um, of of people and planet because it doesn't account for our values. Uh, free trade agreements don't um, put our values at the heart of them. They don't say that um, workers should have rights like we have here. They don't say that the environment should be looked after if that's what we care about. So that means that those free trade agreements undercut those things every time and force us in a race to the bottom. Yeah, so what would a new economy mean? Well, it would mean everybody has their needs met. It would mean all are able to participate. And it would mean people can vote with their vote, not their dollar. What is, a new, what is this new common sense economy um, called? Well, there's a special name for it. It's called the donut economy. And what that means is one side of the donut has got people's needs and that the donut can never encroach on those needs. Right, so it's staying within the limits of, of the people's needs, and the other side of the donut is staying within the limit of the natural world and what it can what it can sustain for us and what it can do for us. So what a, a donut economy is is a circular economy where every waste product is the food for the next product. It's a regenerative um, economy and it's a common sense economy. Thanks for listening. I look forward to seeing you again on the next episode.